in the academia we have grades is that true f e or p c b and a i think that those are the general grades when somebody gets f i think p starts from 40 in most uh, institutions you can get 38 38 is not the same thing as zero yet zero and 38 is still f are we together do we agree that zero and 38 is still now if they ask you to stand according to how you failed the person who got zero will be behind so you are in front of someone yet if they say all those who got f stand here you will be in the same category so just because there is someone behind you does not mean you have passed and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise so if the person who scored zero the person who scored 12 the person who scored 21 and the person who scored 38 are there arguing about who is greater and some intelligent people who is greater they all are still they, they, they are still under f high level spiritual illumination be careful when you find consolation in the fact that at least someone is behind me the question is what is your grade i can sing better than this i can preach better than this at least i have hundred thousand i know if you are just saying that to thank god for his mercies that's fine but you are saying that to endorse mediocrity this is why africa still remains the way it is we celebrate nothing we clap over nothing I apologize i'm here to stretch you you called it you invited me here to come and are we together listen can i tell you this champions are so determined to rise they don't even know when they've crossed the finish line because their eyes are never on the finish line they, they would have crossed the finish line and they are not even aware they are too distracted to be stopped to say look you finished I didn't even realize I finished five years ago because I'm still aiming at something higher. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. You're a man of God here, study like you've not started. You're a businessman here, do business like you've not started. Don't let one million, ten million, hundred million deceive you. Is that all you need in your life? Don't go back home and say, I'm better than the rest. Remember my teaching. Don't forget this teaching on 0 and 39. You can use it to counsel pride out of people. Many years ago, I schooled in a region where we used to do debates, this thing called debates remember quiz and debates and relative to the schools around us they were not really very smart it was a very simple area and so if they heard that we we're coming it was like terrorists were arriving until the day we went to face another school we we're champions within i mean whether you rehearse or not because the other school can literally get zero in the whole quiz they can answer they can fail all the questions so even if you answer only three you will still go back with the price we kept believing we were good until now we went to do a state a statewide quiz and debate oh my god we returned back to that school like we're returning from a funeral i remember students you would see somebody who is 14th position and yet his average is 80.5 there are very good schools like that. You see somebody with 95%, yet his position is 11th in class. 95%. And you will see another school, somebody having 41 position, 40, I mean, um, uh, 41, maybe 50, and his third position. I'm not concerned about your score. What is your grade? That level. 
I'm better than my family members. Thank God, I press. I'm better than everybody around me by whatever standard I press. The day His Majesty claps for you, then you know you have done well. Until then, you set your eyes. You see, refuse to be distracted. It's good to pat yourself at the back when God grants you grace, but be careful. You can overpat yourself and it slows down your pace and you don't even move forward again. Is God speaking to someone? High level spiritual illumination. You are a businessman. Stop running around. Go and sit down. Get books and study. Go and study. You are in ministry. You are a man of God. Don't say there are so many invitations. Doors of ministry is opening. Who is inviting you? You see, until you get to the palace, don't trust any other place you are in. Only the palace can give you the reward that actually enthrones you like royalty. I have a restaurant, Apostle. Until you serve kings, don't stop. Get the knowledge. Get the knowledge. But I am I am a tailor. Who are you? Who are you dressing until you dress kings? Don't stop. Are we together? Stretch yourself. Stop celebrating mediocrity pat yourself at the back don't be too hard on yourself but i'm telling you don't be afraid of stretching yourself you will not die say knowledge say light 